football by a beautiful game. Undoubtedly, the most loving world sports now the world. For being football fans, them almost the actual now the feature play. With the newsmakers, experienced analysts, they get unbiased opinion. So get the news, views, and gist only on Orange Football Special. Hello, Kushe, and welcome to Orange Football Special with me, Mohamed Tobi Kago. Orange Football Special, now the program where it's already matters about football, both local and the international stage. Around Football Special, a country TV screen every Tuesday from 10 to 11 p.m. on SLBC TV Channel 31 or SLBC TV Channel 31 Facebook page. Now, prior to Solution Limited, the power around Football Special and the lead mobile telecom provider, now the country, around the supporter. Just guess what? Just go out there and make yourself an Orange subscriber. Get received and join the Orange family because there are more goodies in store for you We an Orange subscriber. Inside the program this evening, we can talk to the head coach of the national team, Coach John Kista, for the first time with interactive time inside the program after we don't qualify the country for major tournaments in South African football for over 25 years. Within this means for the country, you can tell we in preparation ahead of the Afghans and in plans ahead after the Afghans. And also, we get Martin Rusha Conte now the studio this evening for Cap Me and the lies on waiting. Me and Coach John Kista, they can discuss another program. The same the pleasure having you in the show. Thank you very much. And also with Martin Rusha Conte, a senior colleague from the Fortress States with the present City and Sport. It's a pleasure, Martin, having you in the show. Oh, thank you. All right, I will start with the head coach of the national team, Coach John Kista. Just take me through how the feeling been tallied we qualify the country for a major tournament after 25 years. Um, I think that would be appropriate for Martin to tell you, you know, what the feeling was like, you know, in Conakry, you know, because he was there. You know, I saw the emotions. He would be the best person to tell you that. No, for me, it was... It was actually about, you know, I had a, I was asked to come in and do a job at a very, very difficult time. Difficult, difficult situations in a difficult environment. And for me, that was my focus. You know, I didn't think, you know, where we are today, you know, people expected us to be here, you know, qualifying for the Nations Cup after that long. I think already after the first couple of games, you know, everybody had thought that would have been it. But I think, you know, we, we had to be of luck this time, you know, as a country, you know, where we, you know, the last four games is given us that, that edge and we've gone into qualification and qualified. So for me, it was about, you know, coming in and achieving something that, you know, this was my, this was me setting here to do it, but we've done it as a, as a country. Because down the, down the, down the road, there, are, there have been people that have been very, very supportive. They have kept believing, you know, they have looked at the mathematics around qualification after Nigeria and thought we, we had a chance and what they've done was it's, it's propelled that you know they've kept pushing that belief we've kept believing the group the players and the people that believed in it you know but today you know we we're here you know looking forward to going into a major tournament as a nation which is very very important for Sierra Leone and growth you know to go and represent Sierra Leone in a, in a very very big tournament all right, um, after we qualify to Afghan, we see you come back home, start preparation early with the home base players. Let me just take you through how the preparation process done goes so far. Football is an, it's an everyday development. You know, we have, we have a group of players that are overseas. You know, they've gone back into their pre-season, you know, playing games and going back into their league. So it's, it's very, very important that we carry on developing every day, every day, carrying on improving on the players. You know, coming back, especially with um, our league, been put on hold, you know, we, we, we felt it was very, very important that this is a period that we can use to keep developing these boys. You know, we've gone into this qualification where a percentage of some of these on base players have been part of because of the predicament around the world, you know, thinking about COVID. So it's giving us something to think about around plan A, which is obviously players that are on the outside. And then we have plan B, the local base, which we're trying to improve to get to a level that's accepted, you know. So if the, if the foreign base players are not here, we have a group of players that can go and represent Sierra Leone. So I've always thought it's important that we carry on developing these boys, we carry on improving them, and we carry on giving, giving them the education that they need in terms of their football development. So that's what I've done, and, and, and we keep doing that. Do you think you say need to be done now and get to qualification to the African? Um, I think um, a lot needs to be done now, because um, we all be done the weights, maybe, maybe 40 days for what, the 1994-1996 African Cup of Nations where Salome qualify. 
and qualifying back for the 2022 African Cup of Nations. I honestly think say, this is a, a very good feeling. But I think say, the only moon done, done, good that Junkista don't try for make sure say, it gets them boys here together. Um, also, one good development now for taking the boys to the province, get a, a better pitch. Because the side outside of the train is very, very much challenging. For training at the Shaka Steven Stadium, same way so for training back at the um, Football Academy. Academy. Honestly, things like that will be a huge challenge. But now going to the Kenema, base Nabo, good for the boys then. But one thing I honestly think is, um, I don't get no doubt in Junkista when it comes to discipline. But this is an environment where they go back, so we get a, a lot of distraction. A need for make sure, see, we start now with them boys there. Keep your eyes on them. Make sure, see, they get them how they want them. We don't see that they are, these are mature boys there, you can go. But you have to keep eyes on them. We make sure, see, you start to get them, Musa one, because this is an old tournament to go for. We know we passed the corner the previous African Cup of Nations. 4 0. Ivy Coast beat three, four notes, Zambia beat three. So this will be with second second attempt. So you third attempt in the African Cup of Nations. Mm -hmm. So what we need for do now and for try for make sure say we plan we, we plan well. Um going forward also, um when you look at the we squad, we get a lot of strikers them. they available, a lot of them available. But the area presently we may look see we somehow need for improve on and get for do with that of with midfield and defense. But it's good that they, they try to identify um, boys them because we don't cry say who players they play in a smaller league them. But now the year of big big names and now like um, the boy Isa Colon playing Italy, we get players in Germany where the technical team also they keep eyes on. And Kai Kama, of course, of recent world, we not say for the unattached players and this now one will be the only make noise of many football fans. And so going forward, I think say this is a very a very good one. Now Kai Kama will start for get playing time. We get other players them out there we I honestly think saying we keep eyes on and see how best okay we put ourselves together and make sure say we get more friendly matches than for play because that could be able to make the technical team identify new players and give chance to players them we know be 14 for play against the Benin or players them we the coach will be 14 for ever see for play give opportunity to them now come can see them I think that it could be a very good, a, 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 a good step for you anyway. All right. Um. So, um. Coach John Kista now would already qualify. There are a lot of players. Then they will don't they show interest that one for can play for the national team. How you want to forget about him as a coach? Forget more player because the last time I talked to you, you mentioned a player like Fakati Dabo would they play in England. How fast you don't go for convincing some of these players for can play for the national? Team? Oh, I, I've done a lot of work. Eh. Those like obviously for Fakati, it could have been, you know, going into Benin, but he was injured. So that's how. But now we're going into a tournament. You know, I've got Kake, a fullback. Mm -hmm. I need another experienced fullback, a very good one. So Fakati is another one. So for me going into this tournament, I need two in every position. I need two, two, two in every position. So the home base players then presently will get us one I will say like Dunia, you know, feel say he didn't have capacity for going to Africa. Listen, I'm not talking individuals, I'm talking competitive competition in the squad. Okay. You understand? If there are centre backs out there that are better than what we have, we're gonna change that. But they've got to be better than what we have. Yeah. It's simple as that. Okay. okay. So now, when you say that, I go back to Martin. Even though Martin, you're doing a very good job. Let's talk central midfield. How many central midfields have you actually identified on the outside? That's your union. Yeah, I think we just did for reports. We, yes. We, we don't see. We, we don't see them. No, no. The, yes. The, if you report, yes, how many central yes, midfield yeah. I'm talking because, about? Because like this, you mentioned a guy we just go for Yeah. Wait, wait. He's a he's a centre back. Yes, he's a centre back. I'm saying central midfield to start. Well, we, we will not get much. Exactly. Of we will not get much of so if we had choices there, then we can say yes. But when you talk about central midfield and we're looking on the outside, apart from the ones that are there now, you've only got Chaloba, yeah. who can play there. That's one. So we've got to look at inside the gate. When we talk about centre backs, we're talking about Stephen Cocker and the, the boy I've just mentioned. That's yeah. true. But then again, it all depends. Is there any more out there? There isn't. And, and Kista just mentioned how for go because we, we get to inform our players then because now the resource is not available for let me get people and we go around, go be convinced them. Kista don't stay in England and I believe I believe since I don't play key role for make sure say the likes of Kaki and others they don't come for the national team. They all get they all get saying hold and play for make sure say they will convince them. We can also go back and look up how we able to convince them players and if Kavu can for the national team. For now the resources are not available, how we go to improvise. We get people out there, we get voice for talk to the people here. 
we get we get for make sure say we do that because because it, we need them we need for see them because you can't just call them say when i can't play football you know you know see them so we just first get get for identify people and where we know say we'll get voice for we convince them secondly we get, make sure say we get a friendly match is the mogul play call them come then i think they come very very important as well okay. um with we, we there with the with the talk about um salo government spending a lot of money mm -hmm. go olympics not perform but we get for make sure say we get waiting ones from we boys them you can get because for free town i make us say happy when they don't go to the when, when they don't take the team to the provincial provinces part, yeah. the provincial part because for here there are a lot of distraction going to the provinces at least go the coach will get exactly what they need from them boys there because for yahweh and they are there are a lot of lot of distractions there. so we therefore also think about that day because mind you we don't go twice into this tournament we only don't get one win and we don't they don't defeat you woefully so what we will try for do now how we can able to correct us how we get them wrong and make sure so we try for get them right so now that's what we think now and see our best to keep able to get successful tournaments anyway areas in the team you feel so we need for improving for going to the afghans We've just mentioned we, we need a lot more depth in the, in the centre-back area. We need a bit more depth in the central midfield area. I think we need a bit more in the goalkeeping area. I think in the full-back positions, I think we're, yeah, we've got enough. Going forward again, the other areas, I think we have enough. So those are the areas that we need a bit more depth in. So we're looking at that. All right, um, quickly, Martin, we don't get all of what we did forget from the coach that we need for improve in the team. I don't mention some of the department the way if you say we need for improving going to the Afghans. But um, finally, you know, if we don't get a committee, we for looking to all the affairs we for the mind we for going to the Afghans again. I think that left with the CLN Football Association for set up because we still will not get much time again. We by um, we first lead our approach August now. So yeah. from August now, we just get just four months for go to the African Cup of Nations. I think, just like I mentioned earlier, I happy junkies studying there, going to Bo. They get, we know seeing a big man in the Kegu. We get for make sure see they keep an eyes on them. Then safe, oh by the safe, get a lot of distraction. Um, me, the same way, maybe, at times, not all time the coach they advise you. You told maybe they're gonna, maybe be the best advisor. And no waiting and waiting enough for waiting enough for it and no when for go to bed. All anything in the middle be the advice mm -hmm. myself. So you know it's not only about the coach advising you. You self look at certain okay, I won't go to the African Cup of Nation. Waiting, waiting I need for do. If I be the go club like keep them aside first. If I be if I involve in too much humanizing, that like put them aside first. You get for advice yourself. Let tomorrow if you coach you pick you, you won't go behind journal. Hey, coach you pick me. What now the journalist in your role? And the journalist get for God advocate for you say no power pipe for pick the coach. Give me your best advisor. Start now from target August, September, October, November, December. Going to the African Cup of Nations. Give you best. Refrain yourself from things someone you know say. Go pull you down. I believe say if you do all the things in the you definitely we we'll get your ticket for the Golden African Cup of Nation. They right. wrap up the program this evening, but I um, just want to forget the final courtesy from the head coach, we're in our coach John Pista. I just want to reference what Martin mentioned about professional being a professional. I think it's very important that when you're a professional, you make a lot of sacrifices. And that's what it is about. I'm not going to see you and say to you, your concerns are not. I think when it comes to us, I don't think that's a worry. That should be a worry with players. Okay. One thing I think we, we should know is Martin. We have six months going into Cameroon. We're preparing the home-based players. The players that are there, we can only call so much amount of players. We call 30 odd. The players that are there, government is coming in to subsidize on a monthly salaries. That doesn't mean these 30 players that are there, these are the players that are going to be there for the rest of the six months. No. We're going to keep changing it. We're working on the month. The players that we feel are not capable will get game out. We bring another one in. This is why we're developing the home base players. The players that we think are not up to the level, because you look at the players that we brought in, they're players all that we looked at from the Premier League. Yeah, sure. So we still got enough players to bring in again. So that's what we're doing. One and two are going out, we'll bring another one in. So that everybody knows it's about competi com competitiveness as well. So we're going into, into bowl, we'll stay there. You know, there's no two, I'm not going to say to you, let them go and do whatever it is. We have rules. When we're trying to achieve, we're like this. Now we're not like this anymore. We've done that. It's yeah. done. So we just go forward. We're preparing for Sierra Leoneans. We keep working as hard as we have done. We keep preparing and we, we just look to the future. All right. Uh, to you, Martin. 
Um, I think um, just like waiting we they say we self continue for make sure say we go with best of reports to the Sierlinians, especially on the like foot sports or football, going to the African Cup of Nations and we we'll make sure say we they get for make sure say we they always they make sure say we go and talk to the players them. Report for players the more present in the salon. I think say that will be very good for the technical team. Honestly, that will be my own last one anyway. All right, thank you very much to the head coach of the national team, the great hero that qualified this country for over 25 years. Well, um, it will good for now that me said the part of the history we see me because we qualified to the AFCON. The first time we qualify, I mean, I'll be just a kid, but now I mean, I'm a full grown man for Silicon country to qualify to AFCON. So thank you very much to Coach John Kista and Martin for helping push the program. Till we meet again next Tuesday. Goodbye. Orange.